more fries to break the record. God, you gotta see this, T. Coming. Beatrice. Well, that is a lovely outfit, but uh, breakfast started two minutes ago. Sorry, Mother. I, I had to go back for my dance shoes. Uh, I almost forgot the recitals today. Goodness gracious, how could you possibly forget the recital? Uh, what recital? Oh, ignore your father. We are both dying to see your new routine. <clears throat> so tell me, Beatrice, what composer are you dancing to today? Tchaikovsky or Stravinsky? Um, I, uh, gotta go. It's important. Oh, really, Beatrice? Such behavior is an embarrassment. Oh, that's funny. I thought it was a call to arms. Ooh, slurp war. Oh. <laughs> Done. Oh, darn it, beaten again. Incorrigible. Both of you. May I be excused now? Well, uh... good luck, honey. We'll see you at the recital. Cause I'm not stereo. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Phew. Oh, look at my clothes. I'll be more careful next time. Well, let's hope there won't be a next time, Can or... Can you call for me, Mother? <sighs> yes, I, uh, I want you to wear my heirloom to the recital. Our heirloom. Wait, you don't mean... Yes. The Fairchild Moon. I was thinking, in case your routine goes poorly again, at least this time you'll look positively enviable. Wow, I'm, uh, speechless. Oh, it just looks so divine on you. I remember my first time wearing the moon. He broke the record, <sighs> but he might have broken his jaw, too. Uh, meet us at the hospital. Sorry, Mother. I really gotta go. Um, thanks for the necklace. <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Hey, Tricky, on our way. Be there in five. No, I said, Jake, do not come. I will kill you. Seriously. <laughs> three? Julia got a three? I am gonna get so wrecked. Oh no, a necklace. Next, Beatrice Fairchild. <laughs> what your daughter's wearing. Uh, the necklace is a bit much. Ugh, it's an heirloom. Dad's. Mrs. Fairchild, fresh doesn't get out much. Obviously.
Let's put her out of her misery. mom would do if I just, like, quit ballet. Grounded for life. <laughs> Boneless to a barley fresh. Or maybe she finally gets off your back. Roast beef to a barley back at you. S-K-A-T. Do you guys really have to play skate right now? I'm trying to have an existential crisis here. We bet five bucks and I need lunch money, so yeah. Then you're gonna starve, my friend. So your crisis got me thinking, Tricky. Newton's third law says every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Wow, this must be massive. Oh. So you think my mom, what, makes me quit skateboarding? <laughs> Hard to argue with Newton. I'm with Tani. Your mom is so hardcore. Ah! True that. Still fish to judo. Yeah. But she could surprise you. Nah. The only thing that surprises me these days is when Jake wears matching socks. Huh? Ah! Oh, man. S K A T. Actually, there's a scientific theory I think might explain Jake's sock glitch. It says we all evolved from aquatic bipeds. What does that even have to do with... Webbed feet would be so cool. No more socks or shoes. Uh... No way was I so awkward, dude. <sighs> I hate seafood. Okay, check this. Fakey Benihana to a Superman to a sex change. Jake, you can't do that combo. No choice. Need that cash bad. I am starving. Son of a freaking dad. 
believe you, sir. Ah! It's be so hard to land that. Oh! Personally, I don't think we evolve. We just become our parents. Or some reaction to them. So my theory is we evolved from microbial life. You know, germs that probably came here on like a meteor from some other galaxy. What? You say we're aliens? Exactly. I gotta say, having your own UFO to cruise around in would be so cool. I had a wicked sound system, and that UFO's one sweet ride. Well, technically, sound waves couldn't escape the anti-gravity field it would take to power a UFO. Ooh! Oh, probably just another rusty can. Maybe not! <laughs> gotcha, you! Another turbine recovery. Confiscated. Just observe. For now. <laughs>